Howdy ho, guys and gals. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old den of tools. And boy, has the bear got one for you today. Come on, raise your paw if you've ever heard a hack or something that just left you stunned. Like, this is so obvious and yet so brilliant at the same time because... Oh my gosh, this one really is. We're talking home generator enclosures. And trust me, it sounds boring, but it is, it, it's simply amazing. It's so beautiful. Anyway, there's a, a lot more people these days are getting generators for their home. I know my family did, lots of people are, and for lots of different reasons. Now, you know, I grew up in the Midwest mostly. So of course, you know, for me, I think tornadoes, lots of other people, you got earthquakes in California, hurricanes all over the place these days, flooding even worse. And of course, Texas saw the great freeze that just basically made them understand, you know what, maybe we're not immune to this stuff. Maybe we need some generators too. Now, whether you've gotten picked up, we've talked about a lot of these. Now, whether you picked up, say, one of the champion dual fuel generators, uh, the, the recent one I showed, the hot, hot deal, it's still going on, by the way. And I'll put a link to this and the other ones down below if you're interested in any of this stuff. Anyway, 549, that's a tri-fuel generator, 9400 starting watt, or whether you've got, like us, we're running the 9500 Super Quiet, and you know, I got that one because I wanted something that was quiet, something that wasn't out there, and, and even if you're not running one of these big ones, maybe you're running a smaller one like this, the Pulsar, this is a 2300 watt generator running at $300 over at Walmart. Anyway, lots of great solutions for generators out there, but that all comes down to the problem is, how do you run these at home safely? Well, first of all, one one issue I want to say is don't run these in your house. Don't run them in your garage. I'm seeing news stories all the time that somebody who did so and it ended, it ended badly. All right. The the rule is 20 feet away from the house. Don't run it in. Don't run it in your house. Don't run it in your garage. Direct ex exhaust away from you. You know, I see tons of pictures online, like this, or like this. Or like this. Look at this. The exhaust is pointing right into the garage. He's not 20 feet away. This is bad. Bad, bad, bad. Because here's the deal. What a lot of people don't realize this is homes breathe. All right. They have soffits and all sorts of air intake or can go down into the crawl space in the basement. Don't put it near the house. Don't put it in the entryway or like it's covered, but it's still outside. No, no, no. In the garage door. Even if you open the garage door. That's not a safe way to do it, okay? You can't do this. 20 feet means 20 feet. Get the noises and the fumes away from your house. Here's the problem with that. Now you've taken an expensive piece of equipment and put it out in your yard like bait. It's like ringing the dinner bell for all the crack zombies in 10 mile radius. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look what we can come and get. Now there are solutions, commercial solutions out there like this. This is the Generac aluminum enclosure, enclosure kit. That's really cool. It's $1,600. This one, this is the top of the line, the zombie box. This thing will make it super quiet. It'll get rid of the fumes, all that kind of stuff. Fantastic. But this thing still screams. There's a generator in this box and it's not going to be that hard to break into it. Let's be honest. Now, there's other things you can buy. There's these covers that will, it'll dampen the sound. It'll make it, you know, rainproof and stuff like a rain resistant. How about that? But that's not a perfect solution. Then there's this thing, which basically just needs a blinking yellow light on top of it. It says, look, there's a generator over here on wheels. Come and steal me. Now, I have seen people do some DIY stuff. Uh, and uh, often they look like this or they just buy ones like this and they convert it. In fact, this uh, this Keter one, this is a nice one. It even has built-in vents. Look at that on the side for you. This is a nice solution. I really like this except for one thing. This basically still screams, there's something in here, okay? Because look at this. What do you often store in there? Outdoor power equipment. What do you think people want to steal? Outdoor power equipment. It's super easy. They don't have to get into your house. They go out there, they bust out some plastic, and now they've got stuff that they can sell down at the pawn shop, all right? This reminds me when I was teaching CCW classes and guys would show up with their stuff in one of these going, look, no one's going to think there's a, a pew pew kind of thing in there. No, but... That's still candy to them. They're still gonna want to take that, all right. And then, and then there's this thing, which I I don't know what to say about that, other than the fact that every time I look at it, I can hear the commandant's voice in my head. Kula, thirty days. <laughs> guys, guys, if you haven't heard, if you don't get this reference, go and tell your parents that they let you down in your educational process. That you're missing out on the classics. Anyway, I believe in a concept called security through obscurity. And I know a lot of people don't like it and stuff, but when it comes to physical items, all right, if they don't know it's there, they can't steal it. All right. 
you got to get in their head. There is no generator here. Move along. And that's where this comes in. This is the hack of the century. I kid you not. And it's so stupidly simple and awesome. You're going to love this. And I, and I wish I could remember who sent this to me. I lost the, the email or the, the I am or something. It, put your comment down below and I'll pin it because you deserve credit for this because this is brilliant. Kids Playhouse. It's just that simple. What do you see in tons of yards? What does nobody pay attention to? What does no thief want to get, get his paws on? Anything in there, okay? And I, often you could pick these up cheap on curbs. People always giving them away or stuff. Even if you need to buy one, you can go on Amazon and get this little tykes for 120 bucks. Go down to Home Depot, get yourself some of that pink foam insulation board, paint it black, line the walls with this. It'll look completely, you know, abandoned and junk scatter some toys around it broken toys that no one will pay attention to this even got look it's got vents up in the ceiling there for you this thing is a fantastic solution which made me think what other kind of things are there out there that people have in their yard that nobody even looks at they're so common they're invisible what about the old dog box the old dog house out there you know rover his house even if you don't have a dog especially if you don't have a dog what a great idea you know i went on amazon Tons of great solutions. Look at these. We got them from $85 on up. You can get something nice and fancy if you want. They have the basic ones there. All sorts of solutions here where you could be running a generator in there and then nobody would have an idea. No one would look twice at this thing, okay? Another idea I thought about, compost boxes. You could get some pallet wood. You could slap this thing together, write it, get a little stencil on there and paint fresh compost. Nobody touching that thing. Nobody's going near it. They don't want anything to deal with it, but you can have a nice, safe, and you can have it fully insulated on the inside. You can have tons of stuff in there, and no one would have a clue that you've got two or $3,000 worth of you know, uh, backup power sitting in that box ready to go. Now, one thing I will say is I did a lot of research on this, looking for other kind of solutions, and the number one solution I see people do is you get some of that kind of decorative fencing, and you do something like this. Anybody want to, want to guess, can anybody in class, what rule they're breaking? Anyone? Anyone? Yeah, that's stupid is what that is. Okay, I, I get it. and But, you know, again, it just screams, look, I'm trying to hide something, which makes people think, I wonder what they're trying to hide. All right. Anyway, again, I got to say, what a brilliant idea. The, the whole kids playhouse thing, it, it just really caught me off guard. I would never have thought about that. And I don't know why, because it seems so obvious. You know, I when we were looking for a generator solution, the reason we went with the Predator super quiet enclosure thing was so we would stay quiet. Now we could put it in our backyard. And our, our backyard is not the easiest thing to see, so I feel moderately confident. But, oh, my gosh, what a brilliant idea. I know I've said it enough, but if you have other ideas, if you think the bear missed out on some obvious ones, put it down in the comments. I would love to hear it because I love solutions like this these are the kind of hacks and stuff they're just they just make me they make me smile they make my inner cub just just ha want to do a happy dance anyway let me know what you think put it down in the comments down below don't forget to check us out on instagram and over on tiktok you can get less tool content there'll be some but it's also a lot of behind the scenes you get to see you know our life here in the mountain states you know between montana all the way down to vegas and all the kind of stuff we do whether we're going to the rodeo or going fly fishing or going hunting in the fall or camping or whatnot or just hanging out with friends in Paradise Valley. All sorts of good stuff. If you want to see that kind of stuff, check it out. There's links down below, as always. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.